Hello everyone, my name is Terry Prism, and welcome back to Stories The Path of Destinies. Last time uh, we finished up uh, one of uh, Iblistone storylines uh, where we at first uh, were corrupting ourselves quite badly but uh, then uh, came into second thoughts and uh, committed uh, seppuku, I think. Yeah, that's also about right. So without further ado, let's uh, just start. And this time, uh, over the I'm of thinking Boreas. of uh, going after Armature once again. Choose. The rebellion was in trouble. Ravens were scouting for the secret rebel base. They needed a game changer. Pieces of the Sky Ripper. Like so far, Renata knew that using it every could go time. catastrophically wrong, but he was sure he could figure out how to use it safely. Also. A temple had risen out of empty desert. The Iblis Stone was hidden there. It was a dangerous artifact. It could corrupt its user into a bloodthirsty monster. Oh Maybe no kidding! He could find we a just found it, out. To take its power without surrendering to its wickedness. On the other hand, his old friend Lapino needed rescuing. Lapino was no game changer, but could Renato really leave an old friend to the Ravens? I'm uh, still kind of wondering uh, how did Lapino actually get uh, to that? Uh, I think it was Nexus uh, that the uh, landmass uh, where we killed him last uh, time. I wonder about uh, why. How did he get there? Anyway, I'm not going to read this one uh, this time because uh, you already have heard all of these. Every child <clears throat> knew about the Sky Ripper. The Transcendent Emperor had buried its pieces deep. And then, this Emperor's horrific sacrifices had brought it back to the surface. Bernardo wasn't exactly sure how to use the legendary weapon. But surely, there must be some way to do it without provoking another catastrophe. Had he yeah, I somehow hope so too. summoned the long-lost components of the legendary weapon out of the deep places of the Earth... Okay, yeah, uh, that uh, didn't fit but there. But if he could find a legendary weapon, he would use it. As he set foot on the island, Bernardo could not help but feel a tinge of guilt. He'd left Lapino behind. He hoped the Mad Rabbit had somehow escaped the Ravens. At he least based on that... Uh, <clears throat> if they had. At least uh, based on uh, that, uh, Why that the last uh, storyline, he got all never made plans that required constant vigilance. He was a hero. He didn't think too much. He just went with his gut and hoped it all worked out. <laughs> the Sky Ripper was a long shot. He'd have to devote himself to it. No side journeys, no rescuing old friends. Yeah. That was against his nature. Could he stick with it? Well, uh, so far uh, he was able to stick with it uh, last time. But uh, this time we're going on different routes, so... Not sure if uh, it's, it uh, counts or not. Plenty of uh, chests here, once again. We should uh, soon get uh, that last uh, sword uh, too. <coughs> And time to head underground. Doesn't look like we can uh, just uh, yet make it. How many ores did I need it for that? I'm not going to check that. But getting these here. There we go. Who made all these ore chests anyway? Well, you could have quite a business doing that. <laughs> Still not enough. And once again, these eyes. More of a nuisance uh, than a real uh, threat, uh, really, now. <clears throat> I'm going to check this uh, doorway. 
I don't remember seeing this uh, last time I went through here. Come on. That's strange getting stuck here and trying to. Yeah, that's uh, strange. Uh, I can't really get through there. Um, of course. With that I could. Was that your shield? That went easily. Almost true. There had to be a way to use the Sky Ripper without causing a catastrophe. Why? Maybe it's always dangerous, mm. he imagines Zenobia say. Eh, always the voice of reason, that one. Yeah. Well, there had to be a way to use the Sky Ripper because not being able to use it was boring. <laughs> so there. <laughs> Just uh, exactly like Reynardo. The truth behind the Sky Ripper is shrouded in a thick fog. The most believable tale is that the transcendent emperor has used the Sky Ripper to banish Iblis. Then the transcendent emperor buried the weapon and vanished. Was it self? Didn't I already read this? I think I already read this one. Not going to read it uh, completely because of that then. But let's check out this doorway. There well, that was sort the trip. Praise the sun. Okay. Ah, ravens, of course. Well, that was fast and easy. <laughs> and here's uh, just some health. Did I already got all the games? I think I have already gotten them. Another doorway. Why not? Yeah, so I was about to say it sounds like uh, those uh, items are back. Well, the eyes have had it. Hmm. Now I wonder what uh, is uh, correct uh, correct uh, set of choices to get through this game. Little bit of explosions there. Say hi to gravity for me. There we go. Ah, this puzzle part that we last time skipped. Should we skip this one uh, once again? Yeah, I think we are going to do that. Since we can. Correct sword, and uh, we are in. Ah, that hurt. There we go. And just healing items. Yeah. Almost there. Little bit extra ores there once again. Mm. 
now we are going this way I think yes ah level up time so what we can uh, get this time hmm I think uh, dashing uh, through shielded enemies sounds good. Oh, I got uh, another skill point. Well then, uh, let's get that uh, stunning dash then. And there's that armature. There it was. Skyripper's <clears throat> armature. The stuff that dreams are made of. Engineers' dreams, anyway. The device was intricate. No one alive had the skill to make a thing like it. How is it part of a weapon at all? He'd have to ask a scientist. At first, yeah. he'd get the second piece. Skyripper had a heart. A core that had come to rest on the next island. Well... There was another island hmm. he could reach. Zenobia had just invaded it with her father's raven battalions. She must be encamped there still. But fighting Zenobia now, that made no sense at all. He'd already sacrificed one friend to get this, this armature, was it? He didn't need to hurry to face her. She would find him. Yeah, like I already said, I'm... Uh going after uh, Zenobia this time, because we already seen a uh, core bad way of this storyline. So let's see what uh, Zenobia will bring uh, on the table here. For some uh, inexplicable, for some inexplicable reason, Renardo chose Zenobia. Renardo has uh, found the armature of the Sky Ripper. Without the core it would uh, just be an empty and useless cell. Maybe he should uh, go see Zenobia, who had just invaded a city nearby. She was the Emperor's adopted daughter and greatest general, but she was also his old friend. Reynard didn't know why, but he felt the urge to go see her. Renato asked himself why he changed course to confront Zenobia. He had no idea. Sometimes he would just do things and he could never figure out why he'd done them. Usually, they worked out. After yeah, all, usually. He was a Except hero. Uh, so far, uh, you have died about uh, five times so far because of your choices. The truth is, though, he wanted to see her, wasn't it? Oh, yes. It had been a dozen years since Swordfu School. He'd followed every rumor about her, every scrap of news. Not that he still loved her. After all, she was his enemy. <laughs> no, it was solely because, know your enemy. Yeah, oh, right, we believe he that. he should stop pretending. He knew exactly how she <laughs> felt about him. But their love affair always ended with a tragic death. Unless, maybe he could find a way to dodge tragedy. Surely he could. Couldn't maybe. he? Maybe. Also, this seems to be completely new island so far. It looks similar, similar but uh, I don't remember being here before. Hello, ravens. We are going down. Ah, Stay there. that hurt. I'll get the marshmallows. <laughs> and just for a few ores. Oh, that's a nice detail. That zip on uh, there over there. Let's see, I can uh, jump straight from there, so let's use this way instead. Hmm. 
This was the nice part of town. But the ravens had been through here. They like to take shiny things home to their nests. <clears throat> Sounds uh, just about right. Almost through. No level ups this time yet. <laughs> Almost through, I think. Well. Maybe not. I'm just uh, making some random comments that uh, doesn't, don't mean anything. And looks like I finally got that uh, last uh, sword. It was this one, uh, Void Blade, yes. Got everyone, uh, everything else done. Now so let's upgrade. Now the wings of a fly in the air. Not there we would. go. It's sort of mean, really. <coughs> So, I don't uh, need to focus on uh, any more on treasures, as I already got everything. That reminds me, I need to switch out that one game. I think I still have that treasure finding game equipped. Oh, I remembered wrong. Hmm, do I really need uh, that uh, attack speed game? Hmm. Maybe I'll uh, get the critical chance game instead. Alright, I was going this way. <coughs> oh. Oh look, this is uh, quite interesting. Now, why did I come here? Because I don't even need this anymore. Oh well. At least I got some uh, extra energy for my sword use. <coughs> ah, now it uh, looks more familiar here. Let's see if uh, there's any energy in uh, this chest, chest here. Chest full of old banana peels. Nope. There had to be more. Also, do I really need to use he these uh, ores anymore? With Zenobia than he done with the core, could he? Most likely, yes. Ah, new pathway. So we are heading into sewers now. That's new. Oh, what's and over here? The terror of the sandcastles when he was too. Another uh, unnecessary chest there. Renato wasn't entirely sure how he was going to capture Zenobia. She'd be expecting him. Oh yes, and he didn't will. have Lapino to cook up a clever plan. Why was it again that he hadn't got the core? Maybe because the results tended to be disastrous. Oh yes, that too. Sword from school was closed now, but he had been down that street a thousand times. He knew that pub. He knew that alley. He knew the alley behind it much too well. Had <laughs> chosen to invade this island herself. Having a bit of <laughs> dirty mind there, Reynardo, don't you? Although that also means I have a dirty mind. Oh well. Hello, Zenobia. Linked through Zenobia's ship, making no sound at all. Where were her guards? Finally, I like to know that myself. She reached her bedroom. She was curled up on her bed. Oh, he'd forgotten how beautiful she was. How sleek. How soft. He tapped her on the shoulder with his sword. She vanished. Wait, what? 
and he suddenly noticed he couldn't move except his mouth. In fact, soon he couldn't keep his mouth shut. He told Zenobia everything. Sky River, the Abyss Wait, even where the secret rebel base was until he was hoarse. It was some kind of truth spell. A talky, talky, talky That's truth nasty, spell. That's nasty, Rick. She called her father by far speaker toad and filled his majesty in. But why didn't he get the core? Croaked the far speaker, <laughs> something like his majesty's croak. Because I missed you, darling. Renato grinned. He doesn't even know why, frowned Zenobia. <laughs> that makes no sense. It, it's a trap, shouted the emperor. I, I, I'll meet you at the <laughs> outpost, and I'll bring my interrogators. Hmm. If Renardo came face to face with the emperor, maybe he could assassinate him. Oh, but maybe hmm. it would be smarter uh, and safer to turn Zenobia against her father. I'm uh, I'm curious if I can actually get the Zenobia on our side. At least I'm going to try that. But before that, I think uh, this is a good place to end this episode. I will see you next time. Goodbye.